Hi, this is Brian, Solutions Architect with AWS. And in this video, I'm going to demo Inventory Services, part of EC2 Systems Manager. So let's take a look at Inventory Services. Okay, so here we have the EC2 Management Console. I'm going to click on EC2. As we go into EC2, we can see that I have 13 instances running. And we scroll down, we can see Systems Manager Services from Run Command, State Manager, Automation, and then the shared resources like managed instances, activations, uh, documents is another section here. If we look at these documents, I want to apply the gather software inventory policy. Notice it's a policy and not a command. Uh, that means I can't run it from a run command. I actually have to use the state manager tool. So on the state manager tool, we create an association. I'll go down and find my document here and I find the Gather Software Inventory document, I can use the default or the latest version at that time. I'm going to use the latest, so whenever it's updated, I get the latest one. Next, I want, to uh, I want to select what instances that applies to. I can select Platform and select Linux or Windows or whatever tags I've used there. Another tag I have in here is the type, and it's my web servers. So I can use tags, and then any new instance will be added to it automatically or I can go and select the instance itself. If we look at my instances here, I have instances that are off-prem, including Linux and Windows on-premise instances. I can select all instances, and that's what we'll do here. And then I can come down and schedule it. If we look at, I can do every 30 minutes, I can do it every hour, up to every 12 hours. Or I can go once a week on S Sunday, for example. Here I'll set it to 1 o'clock universal time. In addition to that, I can select what pieces I want to inventory. So I can select, do we want to just take applications? How about the AWS components, network information, updates, or custom? And we'll take all of those and hit Create. So now we've created that association. We can see that it's pending because it's not Sunday at 1 o'clock UTC yet. Also, it's going to say under the uh, parameters section here, which ones we're using of this association. The next part here that I'm going through is have the agents read the document yet and know that they could, should run it on a, every Sunday. I don't want to wait for that to happen for the demo here, so I'm going to hit Apply Association Now. You see you can also delete or edit the association. So we apply that association, and now it's running, and it'll run on all of the 14 servers we selected. Now what we're going to go do is look at that inventory that we just collected. I can select on one of my Linux web instances here, and I do that under Manage Instances. So then I select on Inventory, and the first type I'll take is AWS Applications. And here we see all the applications in my Linux environment here. You can see there's a lot of applications that it lists. Next, we can take a look at our Windows instances. To do this, I have to select just the Web Fleet instance. And then we can see the agents. We see there's a lot less uh, Amazon agents. But let's go look at Windows updates. You can see there's a lot of Windows updates. So all this information was grabbed rather quickly when we ran inventory. The next one I want to look at here is database. And as I look at the database server, that server is an off-prem server. And I can get that same information that we get on the on-prem servers. It works exactly the same. The setup is a little different, but once that agent is installed and running, everything is exactly the same as if we're doing it inside AWS. If we go back and look at that Linux instance, we can take a look at that inventory again, and this time, Let's take a uh, look at uh, targeting for certain applications. So we see these applications here. Let's do a filter, and we'll apply a filter by name. We'll say it equals, oh, how about bind utils? And we see that version 9.82 of bind utils is running here. We're going to take a look at that, and we might want to see if that's running on other servers in the environment. So let's go list all of the servers that are running that uh, program. So we'll do bind utils in the top bar here, and we filter down, and we get only the Linux boxes uh, that are running that tool. And here we see we have four web app, uh, servers that are running that. 
And as we scroll through them, we can see the different versions below. Uh, they're all running the same version of 9.82. I can do the same type of work on my Windows instances. And let's say I want to take a look at a patch. We want to see if uh, a patch is installed. Maybe we're having a problem with a patch uh, that we don't want on there, or maybe we want to see what machines don't have a certain patch. Here we'll search for uh, the knowledge base KB3052480, and we'll list that. So we'll list that no, not only in this single server, but we can do that in the top and list all machines that have that same patch. So right now there's only one server selected, but we can filter out in the top and have every machine that has that. Notice there's just these Windows uh, servers that have that patch. These are the server 2012 R2 boxes, and the server 2016 boxes aren't listed. Okay, we've just taken a look at the inventory services of EC2 Systems Manager. Uh, thanks for watching, and tune in for the next video where we'll take a look at how we tie inventory services into AWS Config. Mm -hmm.